Okay, question 7, a nice 8 marker here. So a function has a domain of R, so the values of X that we are allowed to put into the function are any real numbers, and the range uh, of Y is an element of the reals such that Y is greater than or equal to E. So the range of values that the function can take are anything from E and above. So we got um, the graph of y equals f of x is shown. So there he is. Uh, we're told the gradient of the curve at point x, y is given by dy by dx is equal to x minus 1 e to the x. We want to find an expression for f of x. Fully justify your answer. Okay, well we know that f of x is equal to the integral of dy by dx with respect to x. So, we know then that f of x is equal to the integral of x minus 1 times e to the x with respect to x. Now this has uh, two functions, two separate functions, x minus 1 and e to the x. So this is a job for um, integration by parts, which we are given in the formula sheet. Uh, so, here it is, but we're not explicitly told that it is integration by parts, but this top one is the formula. So, we always use u as the easiest function to eliminate using differentiation. So if we chose e to the x as u, we can differentiate and integrate e to the x all we like and it just doesn't care so it won't disappear. If however we say that u is equal to x minus 1 then the u by the x is just equal to 1. Now that means that we're using dv by the x is e to the x, so v is e to the x. So again, using this formula, the integral of u times dv by the x with respect to x is uv minus the integral of v du by the x. So, our integral then is uv, so x minus 1 times e to the x minus the integral of uh, v du over dx. So that guy. So that is just minus the integral of e to the x with respect to x. And of course, we mustn't forget our constant c. So this is x minus 1 e to the x minus e to the x. Uh, plus C. Now it might make life easier to find C if we factorise this a bit. So this has well, a common factor of e to the x. So this is e to the x 
times x minus 1 minus 1, which on a good day is minus 2. And then we got plus c at the end. So now what we need to do is find the value of c. So going back to what we were told in the question, the function has a range such that y is in the reals and y is greater than or equal to e. This tells us the minimum value of y is equal to e. Now on the graph, we know this point is going to be this point here. So we know the value of y at that point. If we can now work out the value of x at this point, then we are able to substitute values for y and x into the expression for f of x, which will allow us to find c. Now luckily, at minimums, dy by dx is equal to 0. So at this point, we know then here that dy by dx is x minus 1 e to the x. So at this point, we've got x minus 1 times e to the x is equal to uh, 0. We can divide through by e to the x. So x minus 1 is equal to 0, which gives us x is equal to 1. So, now that we know that point, we can find the value of c. So, now we know when x is 1, y or f of x whichever is equal to e. Now we know that f of x at the moment is this guy that we've just found. So using that we can say that e is equal to um, so we're substituting in x equals 1, so we get e times 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. So we're going to get minus e add c, and therefore c is equal to 2e, and then finally f of x is equal to e to the x times x minus 2 add 2e. Two cool.